Let's talk about ERV sizing. I've got Ken here, the owner of Performance at Air Conditioning. I've got Josh, who's the builder. Josh, incredible attic, by the way. Talk to me about why we did two ERVs on this job, because we've got one here, Ken, and then we've got another Brone down here on this gable side. What, why two on this job, rather than just one big one, let's say, running on high speed? Sure, well, I mean, there's a couple things on the sizing. Um, you know, when, when we size, we want to make sure that there's the proper airflow in the house for, you know, the ASHRAE 62.2 standards. Um, but often enough, we're actually sizing based on the exhaust that we're pulling out. So sometimes that's at a higher level, and that's the case in this house. Yeah. And so the faster you run these ERVs, the less efficient they become. So we, we've actually found that oftentimes it's better to separate those out and have them running slower so you have better, you know, energy recovery right. as they're running. That makes sense. Sense. So slower air running through that core inside that ERV means that we can move the heat and the humidity better between the outgoing and the incoming air streams, right? Yeah, that is correct. And that's, that's, really how, smart. that's how we get that energy recovery that's as efficient as it is. Yeah, this is a beautiful install, by the way. He's got a pre-filter here. This green tubing is his exhaust tubing. What's the name of that again? It's uh, it's called Air Excellence, and it's by Ubik. Ubik. U-B-I-K yeah, is the company. Yeah. Uh, and this happens to be the Brown um, AI series, which is really interesting because it's smart enough to know what the fan speeds are and can balance it uh, kind of using AI technology. So impressive install, Ken. Really nice.